The Prince and Princess of Wales's relationship famously began when they were both students at St Andrews University in Scotland and took up residence in St Salvatore's Hall, fondly referred to as Sally's. Their on-again off-again relationship lasted almost a decade before Prince William finally took that all-important step and proposed to Kate during a romantic trip to Kenya. While there was fevered speculation about the future of their relationship for many years, it was on October 20, 2010 that William and Kate became engaged, although they would leave the world waiting for another month to come. According to royal expert Katie Nichol, the proposal was as romantic as you would expect as the couple traveled around the country before heading to Lake Rutundu, which William had decided was the perfect place for the special moment. He had booked a log cabin for their stay and the couple spent the day fishing unsuccessfully for rainbow trout. Katie claims that when they returned home, William took Kate out onto the veranda, got down on one knee and proposed. The following morning it was time to check out and head home, but not before they both wrote sweet notes in the lodge's guest book. Their cute messages, which have recently resurfaced, hint at the romantic and historical holiday, although of course at the time nobody would have known exactly how special it had been. Kate wrote, Thank you for such a wonderful 24 hours, sadly no fish to be found but we had fun trying. I love the warm fires and candlelights, so romantic. Hope to be back soon. William wrote, 20th the 21st of October 2010. Such fun to be back. Brought more clothes this time. Looked after so well. Thank you guys. Look forward to next time, soon I hope. Kate and William didn't officially announce their engagement until the following month during a photo call at St. James Palace. During their engagement interview with journalist Tom Bradby, the couple were asked many questions, with one answer revealing that Prince William had broken a major tradition when he proposed. The prince was asked if he had spoken to Michael Middleton before he asked for his daughter's hand in marriage. William confessed that he hadn't asked as he feared what he might say. He said, well, I was torn between asking Kate's dad first and then the realization that he might actually say no dawned upon me. So I thought if I ask Kate first then he can't really say no. So I did it that way round. I managed to speak to Mike soon after it happened really and then it sort of happened from there.